Good afternoon. I'm State Representative Gloria Frazier. I represent House District 126 in the Georgia State Legislature. I am, um, Burke County is my, I represent Burke County and Richmond County. And we're here today at this press conference to do two things. First of all, it is to be with the family of our dear native son, Ahmaud Arbery, and to let his family know that we are here for them. This is something that we should have did back on February the 23rd, when he was laid to rest behind me here. We did not know of the circumstances around his death, but now that we do, we are here today gather together to pay condolences to his family. This is his grandmother that's sitting with me right now, Miss Ella Cooper. There are family members that are out here today um, standing with us as we do uh, pay respects to this young man and his family. I would just like to let uh, everyone know that there are two press conferences simultaneously going on as I speak. Representative Al Williams is in Brunswick, Georgia uh, at the uh, historic Brunswick Courthouse with legislators from the Georgia General Assembly that have traveled from Atlanta to join him today to speak there in reference to the murder of Ahmaud Arbery and to uh, advocate for our Georgia hate crime law. I am standing here today at his grave site to also advocate for the passing of House Bill 426, the Georgia hate crime bill. And at this time, I would like for our mayor Mayor Greg Coswell to come and, and uh, give you his words of comfort. Thank you, State Representative uh, Gloria Fraser. And uh, we just welcome you all here. And we thank you so much for being here. And we just want to say that to the family we're with you, to the community we're with you. And this is something that I'm so appreciative that you know we're having today. Because while it is a sad occasion, it is a time that we stand up in the time that we say something in the time that we do something we have to make the changes we're sad that this happened but it is a time that we stand up and say we have got to stop it now it can happen no more and I'm standing here in support of the house bill and uh, representative Frazier and all those who stand let's make a change it is a sad occasion but it's a time where we can make a change and we can make something happen thank you so much Thank you, Mayor. I stand here today in this graveyard to remember the life of our Burke County native, Mr. Armon Arbery. Mr. Arbery's life was cut short way too soon on February the 23rd, 2020, by the barrel of a shotgun from two men that hunted him down and killed him in the street because of the color of his skin. I'm also standing here today in this graveyard to bring you awareness to House Bill 426, the hate crime bill. As your state representative, I was proud to support and vote yes to House Bill 426 last legislative session. House Bill 426 is currently in the Georgia Senate. The hate crime bill provides that a defendant is subject to enhanced criminal penalties if the defendant choose their victim based on victim's race, color, religion, national origin, sexual orientation, gender, mental disability, or physical disability. The effect of HB 426 is allowed for seamless adjudication of horrible crimes that are motivated by hate from arrest to prosecution to sentencing. And this is what happened with Ahmad. It was a case of motivated hate. And we cannot have this anymore. 
Today, I'm asking that the Lieutenant Governor Jeff Duncan and Senate Judiciary Chairman Jesse Stone to allow the hate crime bill to come to the floor of the Senate for a vote when the Georgia General Assembly reconvene on June 11. The passage of HB 426, the hate crime bill, would allow citizens to feel safe knowing that the state of Georgia does not tolerate or accept behavior rooted in hate. My friends and neighbors that are here today in Waynesboro, Georgia, and throughout Burke County, we must band together to keep our fight and keep our communities free from hate and violence that accompanies it. We can no longer allow hate crimes to prematurely end the lives of our friends and neighbors like our Burke County native, Ahmaud Arbery. Therefore, I'm asking you, all of you here that are here today, friends and neighbors, please call and email Lieutenant Governor Jeff Duncan and Senate Judiciary Chairman Jesse Stone today to request that HB 426, the hate crime bill, be brought to the floor of the Senate for a vote when we reconvene on June 11th at the Georgia General Assembly. I want to give you the phone numbers and the email address. Lieutenant Governor Jeff Duncan's office telephone number is 404-656-5030. His email is jeffduncans at lieutenantgovernorltgov.ga.gov. Chairman Jesse Stone, who represents Burke County, who is your senator here. His office telephone number is 404-463-1314. His email address is Jesse Stone, J-E-S-S-E -S -S -E, dot Stone at senate.ga.gov. Hate crime can no longer be tolerated in Georgia. Now on June 11, 2020, the Georgia General Assembly will reconvene to take up the 2020 state budget. On June 11, I would like to make this announcement to the Cooper family, to Ms. Ella Cooper, to the family members that are here. I spoke with, with Ms. Wanda last evening and I spoke with one of the signers on HR 426, the Dean of the House, Representative Kevin Smiry from Columbus, Georgia. And we are requesting when we return on June 11 and vote on this hate crime bill that we rename this Georgia hate crime bill to the Ahmaud Arbery hate crime bill. I want to thank you all for coming. As we speak, there are releases from the Speaker of the House, Speaker Ralston just released this morning, that when we return on June 11th, that he wants swift action in passing H HB 426 with no amendments. So we are on our way, ladies and gentlemen. There will be no more Ahmaud Arbery's deaths. Right. We will not tolerate any more of this. We have sat back too long and watched so many of our young black men be murdered down in the street. If you have hate in your heart, you need to find Jesus. Amen. But right now, as your state legislator, I will not tolerate it. And I am going back to vote yes again on that bill if he comes back. But right now, they got to get through the Senate. And once they voted in the Senate, it's law. So thank you all again for coming out and being a part of this press conference, and we're gonna move forward. So look for the passage of HB 426 on June 11th. Thank you all.